Hello everyone, in today's video I will be sharing you this meal prep that I did last week and I made over 28 meals for this uh, entire meal prepping uh, that I did. So just keep on watching till the end and I hope that you enjoyed this meal prep and would inspire you as well. Welcome back everyone. So the first meal that we're going to be making is this baked salmon with sweet peas and blend wild rice. So this is going to be really easy. I'm going to cook the wild rice according to the direction in the package. And then the sweet pea, I got it from Walmart. So in here everyone, I have about 9 to 10 pieces of uh, salmon. Then I'll be using olive oil, soy sauce, wild blend rice and cook this according to the direction in the package and then I have two bags of sweet peas in here that I'm gonna saute with onions, uh, garlic and uh, season it with salt, uh, garlic salt and black pepper so that's really really easy and my oven is at 350 degree already preheated it so in this big pan right here I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil and I will just brass it that way the fish won't stick in the pan So just uh, brush the olive oil all over the pan that way it's uh, it won't stick uh, the fish won't stick so now I'm gonna line up my fish and this fish was uh, frozen and I just throw it out and for this everyone I will be putting one to one and a half salmon in each container uh, i i measure this uh, i get about four ounce and my husband is about five ounce of uh, fish All right, now it's time to season our fish. The seasoning for this one is really simple and uh, I didn't really go over the board. I just want it to be simple taste. So we're gonna start with the garlic salt. Just sprinkle it and make sure you don't put too much, that way it won't be salty. And now we're gonna do the black pepper. And meal prepping this way everyone is really awesome because it makes your house smell so delicious. So just rub those garlic salt and black pepper. And now uh, we're gonna drizzle some olive oil. Now it's time to flip the salmon and season the other side of the salmon. That way it's even and it will uh, have a really good flavor if you season both sides of it. So as usual, just season it with garlic salt, black pepper, and then olive oil. Just like we did the first time. All right, everyone, after you season this one, we're going to put this in the oven and bake it for 20 minutes on 350 degrees. And once it's done baking, you know, you always give your uh, fish or anything that you bake time to sit on the pan. That way it, it stay moist inside. So I'm going to bake this for 20 minutes on 350 and I'll show you after it's baked. 
on this big pot right here i'm gonna boil my wild rice in here and uh, i added the water according to the instruction in the package i couldn't really remember how much water i added but i just follow what the package said on how to cook the wild blend rice because i've never cooked uh, blend rice before so i'm gonna bring this to simmer and uh just cook it for about 45 minutes and after the 45 minutes everyone i added a little bit of water at a time because i want my rice to be floppy so uh just mix this well and bring this to boil and uh once it start boiling you just let it uh, reduce the heat and simmer it for 45 minutes So on this skillet right here, I'm gonna be cooking the sweet peas. The sweet peas is really easy to cook. You don't have to cook it long. I just want it to saute with the olive oil. So I added about two tablespoons of olive oil over there and I just uh, swirl it the way it's distributed evenly inside the pan. So now we're gonna add a little bit of the onions, not all of it, about you know just a little bit of onions because i'll be using it later for my other recipe and then uh, we're gonna be adding the garlic as well i love using garlic but that's an optional if you don't like garlic you don't have to use it so just uh, mix this well and let this saute for about two to three minutes until the onions is a little bit translucent and of course you have to season your I always season my onions with garlic salt I love using garlic salt but if you don't want to use garlic salt you can use the regular salt that is perfectly fine so you just keep mixing until the garlic salt onions and garlic is well incorporated all right everyone my uh, garlic and onion has been cooking for about two to three minutes now it's time to add our sweet peas and this one right here I i'm not really gonna cook this i probably just let this saute for about three to four minutes just enough for the uh, what is this the onion and garlic to uh, blend with the sweet pea because i want that flavor and then you know you have to season it with garlic salt and black pepper and also we're gonna be adding about a two tablespoon of soy sauce not too much soy sauce because I don't want it to be a lot of soy sauce just a little bit enough to flavor the sweet peas and if you don't want to use soy sauce that is perfectly fine you can just leave it alone and season it with black pepper and salt So just mix everything after you put your black pepper and garlic. All right, everyone, my sweet pea is done cooking. I cook this for about three to four minutes, not long. And then um, just mix it and transfer this to a Pyrex and let it set aside. And my fish, this is how it looks. It's perfect so i just pulled this out the oven and it was so oh, smelling so good so i'm just gonna transfer this in a serving uh, plate and set them aside so it's the sweet peas look at that salmon everyone it looks delicious i cannot wait to taste this one so for our next uh, meals we're gonna be baking tilapia pair it with sweet potato and quinoa so this is all gonna be baked except for the quinoa I'm gonna boil the quinoa so in here about I have about seven little pieces of sweet potato that I peel and slice we're gonna be using olive oil and then we're gonna cook the quinoa according to the direction in the package 
I love using quinoa. This is so delicious, everyone. And in here, about nine pieces of tilapia that is uh, thawed out already. And then I'm gonna be using garlic, salt, and black pepper as well. So my oven is still at 350 degrees. So in this pan, I'll be using the same pan and I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil and the same thing, I'm gonna brush it. That way the oil is all over the pan and my fish will not stick in the pan. So after you brush the oil all over the pan, just start lining up your tilapia. These are some big slices of tilapia, which is perfect for the meal prep. And if you don't want tilapia, everyone, you can use cod as well and other fish that's fillet. I got this from Walmart. All right, after you line it up, just go ahead and wash your hand before you touch anything else. Yes, uh, especially with the fish, so just wash your hand and then touch the seasoning. So now let's, uh, we're gonna season this with garlic salt, black pepper, and olive oil. Now with black pepper. Now let's flip the fish, that way we can season the other side of the fish. Have you noticed that I didn't put olive oil, everyone? That's because I forgot, but that's okay. <laughs> I was so occupied and so focused on finishing my meal prep. So on this side, we're gonna add uh, garlic salt, black pepper, and olive oil. And we're gonna bake this for 20 minutes. And if you're like me, I don't like my fish to be really salty because my vegetables will have a little bit of salt. So I want them to be just, uh, to taste perfect. So just drizzle some olive oil in there and then it'll be ready to bake. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven and bake it for 20 minutes. And on this pan right here everyone, I'll be adding my sweet potato and I'm gonna bake my sweet potato together with the tilapia. And if you know that, uh, if you know that sweet potato, it takes a long time to bake. Uh, I, that's why I got this on little slice. So I'm gonna bake this until the sweet potato is uh, tender and soft and because I don't want it to be crunchy. So I just seasoned this with garlic salt and black pepper. Yes, I'm using the same seasoning because I just want it to be just, you know, simple. And then olive oil. But I was very surprised of how this sweet potato tastes after it was baked, everyone. It was really delicious. My husband and kids loved it. So now just mix it using your hand. Just make sure you wash your hand before you touch the food. Just mix it real good, that way all the ingredients are uh, well combined and each sweet potato is coated with the spice. So this is ready to be baked. And for our next meal, we're gonna be baking some chicken. So in here I have four chicken thighs and four chicken legs. I'll be using olive oil, black pepper, and pair it with corn, pinto beans, 
and I'll be using some onions and garlic as well in garlic salt so it's very very simple and yes I'm using canned uh, corn and canned beans so in this pan I'm gonna line up my chicken thighs first I bought this chicken thighs everyone it was a great deal it was one dollar for all of it so why not take it right and then I'm gonna add my chicken leg and I bake this for about 25 minutes or until the chicken is done so about 25 to 30 minutes since it's on 350 degrees And now these chickens are ready to be baked. And here is my tilapia everyone. After 20 minutes, this is how it looks. So I'm gonna transfer this in my Pyrex and let them sit. And my wild rice is finally cooked everyone. Yes, it took a long time to cook, but it's okay. And I added more water to get the texture that I wanted. So in this pan, I'm gonna add some olive oil that way I can cook my corn and now let's add some onions and if you notice everyone this is just the one onions that uh, I showed you earlier so one medium size onions last me for three uh, recipe so just mix that well make sure that the onions is coated with the olive oil And now let's add the garlic and my husband told me that adding garlic on the corn it's good but it's not his favorite so on my next meal prep I won't be adding garlic on my corn so in this little pan right here I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of oil and then add the rest of the onions this is where I'm gonna be cooking my uh, I'm gonna cook my pinto beans and uh, everyone, if you cook pinto beans, put them in a crock pot, or oh, it's perfect because you, the beans will get really soft, and uh, the sauce will be thicker. That's how my husband like his pinto beans. So on this other side of the pan, it's time to add the corn. And the corn, I drain the juice that way I don't have the juice from the can and rinse the corn as well. So just mix this well and you can season this with the black pepper and salt and I let this simmer for about three minutes to five minutes I'm multitasking here everyone I'm mixing everything because I don't want anything burnt we're gonna add some garlic salt yes garlic salt is my favorite I think I could say I'm a garlic salt queen then a little bit of black pepper and now just mix them well and now it's time to add our pinto beans here Next time I need to make a lot of pinto beans because it's really good for you and put it in the crock pot. Alright just mix this well and let this simmer for about four to five minutes. <clears throat> I season it with the garlic salt and black pepper.
all right everyone my corn is done so i just turn off the heat and i'm gonna move this in a pyrex and sit it side and so it's my pinto beans is done and just waiting for my chicken and sweet potato so now the chicken is out and it's tender and i love the brown uh, on the top it's perfect and the sweet potato is finally cooked everyone it looks so delicious and it's tender and flavorful so i was uh, i was uh looking all my sides and i was saying to myself i needed more sides so i decided to make green beans so i sliced half of onions about one one half cup of onions and just put it in the pan with three tablespoons of olive oil Just mix this well and I'm gonna let this saute for about two minutes until the onion is a little bit translucent. All right, everyone, time to add our green beans. I just used the canned beans because I already have it. And uh, just mix this well until all the ingredients are well incorporated. And you can season this with salt and black pepper. So I used two big cans of those green beans you can get at Walmart. So now I just season it with garlic salt, black pepper, and a little bit of soy sauce. Not so much, but just a little bit, enough to flavor the green beans. Now just mix this well. And let this simmer for about five to eight minutes all right everyone my beans is finally done i let this simmer for about eight minutes and this is how it looks so now i'm gonna transfer this in my other pyrex and put it aside uh, that way later on it'll be easier for me to uh, pack the meals because I'm going to be weighing everything that I put in my husband's uh, Tupperware and in my Tupperware. So make sure that you taste your green beans before you add more salt on it. And if it's not, if you don't get the taste that you wanted, just keep adding salt and black pepper. All right, everyone, my quinoa is finally done. Quinoa is so good. This is my favorite. And here is my beans. It's done and it's ready. So here are the meals that, I mean, the meals that I'm ready to pack, everyone. Everything looks delicious. Yes, the tilapia, the salmon, the sweet peas, the wild rice. Oh my gosh, it's just delicious. The kids and my husband are so excited to taste this look how pretty is my sweet potato and my quinoa then my corn this is just wonderful everyone it took me three hours to finish cooking everything uh, from meal prepping what is this from prepping everything and uh, cooking and to packing it took me three hours I don't know I can't talk today look how beautiful this so colorful and so healthy looking the wild rice is something that my husband need to get used to he didn't like it as much but I told him to eat it so this chicken is for my kids and the fish is for my husband and I but I also pack fish for our kids so this Tupperware right here I got this from uh, Amazon my sister actually bought this for me and it, I got 50 of this 
So I'm gonna add some salmon. You can assemble this however you want, but you know I just put things together in what make you know, to make it look pretty. And then I'll be using half a cup uh, for my wild rice. So add half a cup of this. Now I'm confused where I'm gonna put it, so <laughs> couldn't make up my mind. And now let's add some, uh, this is half a cup as well. We're gonna add a vegetables, the sweet peas. So half a cup of the vegetables. My husband is actually coaching me how much ounces on how much should I put on mine? Then I added a little bit of sweet potato. And this right here is for my kids. And uh, I put half a cup of the wild rice and then some fish. So I just keep doing this until I finish packing all my meals and I will be back and show you how it looks everybody.
and everyone I finally finished packing all the meals and it looks delicious everyone my husband and kids taste some of the food and they loved it so I hope that you enjoy this meal prep everyone and if you're new to our channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below because I'll be sharing more meal prep ideas and for breakfast everyone you can eat yogurt with granola and some fruits on the top and drizzle with some honey so i will see you all again next time everyone and thank you thank you so much for staying and uh, watching this video bye bye everyone and please don't forget to check out our new videos as i added new videos every week see you again next time bye bye mm -hmm.